we were methodical, sluggish to start the game. Um, we looked, we just, we looked tired. Um, you know, and we, we, I thought we just, we didn't do the things that we talked about doing. Even when we had the lead, I was not happy with how we were, how we were playing. Um, you know, and then it caught up to us. You know, I thought they got a lot of makeable shots that they missed. Um, but there's a way that we're trying to play and, and we've, we've got to be able to um, guard better without giving up so many, so many open shots. You know, I thought they took 26 threes. I, I, I mean, I, shoot, eight of them were freaking wide open shots that they just missed that they're not going to consistently miss. Like Jordan Burns was one for five for three. Ferguson was 0 for four. That, that's not going to happen. And so we've got to, we've just got to be better. We've got to be better. You know, this is a game that, you know, they deserve to beat us. They, you know, I thought at the end of the half, we just kind of, you know, lost, lost our, 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 our focus. Um, they're, they're, they're going to make you pay when you do that. Um, and so I thought that that really hurt, you know, in terms of the momentum, they went into the halftime with the momentum because in the last, you know, four to three to four minutes of the half, we really struggled to defend or run good offense. And then offensively, we were just really sluggish, you know, 15 turn with, you know, 15 turnovers, careless turnovers, we're standing around watching, um, you know, this was a game we really needed to play with a better pace and, and move the ball better with, with just more purpose. Um, yeah, I guess, Coach, I'd want to start with the end of kind of both those halves. Colgate went on a run to kind of take the lead back at the end of the first half and then pulled away with a run in the end of the second half. Do you think there was a theme between both of those two runs or do you think they were different in different ways? No, I, you know, just the same, you know, I, and I, I can't remember exactly how it went down, but, you know, we we were not playing the way that we were trying that we that we came into the game we were not executing the game plan at a higher enough level to win and so it's just a matter of time before it's going to catch up to you and against a good team you're not going to get away with not blocking out not sprinting back pointing and talking in transition defense standing around on offense not playing with any any type of uh, pace offensively it's just going to catch up to you over time so over a 40 minute game you know, it's, it was more of the same. It was more of all these little things that we just were not doing well. Um, Colgate has a pair of, in addition to, we talk about the guards, but they have a pair with Keegan records who got into foul trouble, but then Jeff Woodward off the bench are two pretty physically imposing bigs. Um, what were the challenges of trying to work with what they were giving you guys? Well, I thought, you know, look, first of all, both, you know, both those kids are very good players. You know, you can't give them deep touches, you know, like Woodard had 15, he was seven for 11. You know, that's a big lift off the, off the bench to have a guy go for 15 points off the bench. You know, Souk was great. I think that was his career high, right? 19 points. Yep. He was terrific. 19 and 12, you know, you know, Walt has to rebound. He, you know, we're not talking about Walt right now, but he only got four rebounds. He's, he's not, he's not really rebounding the ball at a high level right now. Um, but, you know, both those guys are very good players. They, they're very physical players. Um, and then they're, you know, they're surrounded by so many talented offensive players that you have to be careful on when the devil and one-on-one, -on -one, you know, no, no, not too many people in the league can guard Jeff Woodward if he gets the ball in the paint one-on-one. -on -one. And so, you know, you're basically just hoping that you can stay between him and the basket and, and make him miss some of those bunnies. Um, you know, and then at times you got to go, you got to kind of go double them uh, as well. Um, I just want to quickly ask about uh, Fletcher Tynan's game. Uh, oh, he had 12 points. Great, man. He's been, runs. Oh, he's been great. He's been great. I'm so proud of that kid. He's played really well. Um, and that's the thing, like, you know, early on, none of us were playing well. You know, nobody was really playing well. Soup was the only one that was playing well for us, you know, in the first third of the season. I would say no one was really playing consistently well. Um, and, you know, guys are starting to, you know, feel a little more confidence. We're starting to play with a little bit more of a flow. Um, you know, our bench, we have a good bench. We, you know, we just got to, we got to clean up the mistakes we we 
we tend to make some mistakes, losing focus or just inexperience. Um, but I like our bench and, and Fletcher has been great, man. He, he's been great. He has been, he's been terrific. He's been terrific. He's worked hard on his shooting. I'm so, I'm so proud of him. Um, you know, he was plus four when we were on, when he was on the floor, you know, and I went to the assistant during the game. I'm like, we need that dude on the floor today because he just gives us another guy with size and length. So when you have Souk and Walt and Fletcher in with Javante, I mean, you have a lot of length and size. Uh, we have, you know, the, the thing about our team, like we've had 38 five on five practices. And so it's like, can you just win enough where you can just keep going because we're, we're still getting better. We're still improving. You know, today we didn't play great, but I'm telling you, man, I, I really believe in this team. You know, I think we got a chance, you know, if we can just keep getting better, you know, tonight, you know, this could have easily been a, an 18 point loss with the way that we played because they just missed, they missed some makeable shots. And so, you, you know, I'm not foolish, I'm not stupid, um, but I do think we can play better. Um, and so, you know, we, we just need to keep getting better and hopefully we can win enough to make the playoffs and then have a chance at the end um, when it's all said and done. Uh, if you don't, if you don't mind, I also wanted to ask about, uh, you mentioned that you missed a lot of makeable shots, especially from three. Um, do you have like a different game plan you want to go into for tomorrow's game? Uh, no, I they, need, yeah, I, no, I need to watch the film. I, I you know, we're not going to like change our, you know, this is who we are, right? So, you know, we know we have to execute better on the offensive end and the defensive end to win. So, you know, we're not going to change the philosophy of how we play. We may tweak some things and do some things better, but I need to, I, I have a, you know, the one thing we lost our men a lot, we're, 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 we're staring at the ball a lot when they were moving around. That's how they got a lot of make, you know, shots because we were just staring at the ball. You know, we just have to be better within, within who we are. And then if, if that's not good enough, that's not good enough. I can live with that. But if we can just be better within who we are tomorrow and then be better within who we are on Wednesday, then be better. And then, and then Friday and Saturday, we play Army. We Now, you know, I like our chances and we got a chance to be better. But to change, you know, we'll, we'll tweak some stuff, but we're not going to change our game plan. We just have to tweak some things. For sure. Thank you. Uh, Coach, my last question, just going back to, Fletcher and specifically the shooting, I think he's five of seven from deep over the last three games. Um, for him, that's pretty incredible. What has gone into the journey for him to kind of develop that confidence? Because this was the most confident we've seen him look on offense. Yeah, it's really. Well, like, let, let me say this. So he worked his tail off in the offseason. He really did. He worked his tail off. And then you know, he was, when he got back, he was fine. You know, he was, you know, he's shooting the ball. You know, he was, he was making shots. You could tell he was an improved shooter, no doubt. And then what happened was, you know, we kind of started the year. We all, we both know how we started our season, kind of not having a ton of time. Um, and then, you know, none of us was really shooting. The, nobody had legs. Nobody's really shooting the ball well. And then he got into kind of playing the way that he was last year, you know? Um, and then I just said to him, I'm like, listen, man, I'm watching guys in the league and there are a lot of guys in our league that aren't great shooters, but they shoot when they're open, like shoot the ball. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's a jump shot. Like what the heck you worked all this time on it, shoot it. Um, and, and he has to mix it up with some screening and cutting too. That's what makes him good. But he's put a ton of time into that. And I just got to the point where I was just like, man, I'm tired of people just not guarding this guy. We're not going to, we don't have another dynamic player like Max on the floor to be able to be like, all right, it doesn't matter if they don't guard him. We could still, you know, we need him to, to, to help space the floor. And shoot, he's, look, man, there, he's a really good all around player. And I'm glad that he's starting to find himself. I'm really happy for him because he, he had struggled like the most, like most of us. He had really struggled, but him, him getting going right now is going to really help our team.